iPal Ace Plus, version 2.0, Document Management. This document management application enables you to scan and save printed material such as books, bulletins, mail and more, convert saved material to TXT or MP3 file formats, send stored documents by email, delete saved material you no longer want, open the scan documents, to hear them read aloud, view them in magnified font on the built-in screen, or connect a refreshable braille display to access them in braille. For instructions on using a braille display, refer to the video iPal Ace Plus, using with a refreshable braille display, which maps which controls on a particular display correspond to the controls on the Ace Plus. Photo of Ace Plus. Please note, if you are not interested in saving material you are scanning, but rather reading it as you scan it, use the Scan and Read Main Menu option, rather than Document Management. For details, refer to the video iPal Ace Plus, Scan and Read. Let's begin by learning about the buttons, controls and connections on the Ace Plus that you will need to use in Document Management. Buttons, Controls and Connections the diagrams above show all the buttons, controls and connections on the device with labels. The left side panel has an indented area with the following four items aligned vertically starting from the bottom, power supply port, circular tactile power button, and two USB ports. On the front lower left corner of the device, there is an audio output port for headphones or external speakers. A description of the location and function of the other buttons and controls in the document management mode follows. Location and function of buttons and controls. Home button, large round yellow button located in the middle of the top panel. Press at any time to get to the main menu. Volume knob, located in the upper right corner of the top panel. Turn it clockwise to increase the volume or counterclockwise to decrease it. Daisy buttons, located on the left side of the top panel. The daisy buttons have a total of five buttons, four arrow buttons, and one round button centered between them. The daisy center button can be pressed at any time to hear the battery status, which menu screen you are in, and the network connection status. These buttons are also used for text navigation and document management when reading as described later. Action button, rectangular flat button on the right side of the device above the right roller. Press this button to select a desired menu option. Right roller, located at the front right shoulder of the device. Scroll it up or down, to go through menu options. When reading a document, scroll it up or down, to go to the previous or next line. Location and function of buttons and controls, continued. Left roller, located at the front left shoulder of the device. Scroll it up to increase font size or down to decrease it. Alternatively, in the settings menu, the left roller function can easily be switched to control reading speed, rather than font size. Scan button, the scan button is a half moon shape button located on the right of the top panel in front of the volume knob. Press it to take a picture of a document or book you would like to scan. Back button, located above the left roller. From the main menu, when you select an option and are taken to sub-menus for that option, press the back button to return to the previous menu. Customizable settings for the document management mode. The device comes programmed with common default settings for running speed, running voice, running mode, voice versus text only, font, contrast, and several other options which you can adjust to your preference from the settings menu. To learn more about these settings and how to adjust them, refer to the video titled iPal Ace Plus Settings. The image above shows the screen on the Ace Plus with the settings option highlighted. Positioning a document for scanning. First, let's learn how to position a book or document for scanning. The Ace Plus can scan and read a document that fits in the 8 one by 11 inch field directly in front of the device on a flat surface. Make sure the device is sitting vertically with the top panel buttons facing the ceiling and the screen facing you. Use the base of the device as a guide and place the long side of the paper so it is aligned with the length of the base. 
the orientation of the document will not influence the recognition of the text. If you are scanning a document that is smaller than the 8 one half by 11 inch field, for best results, place a blank sheet of 8 one half by 11 inch paper in the scanning area and lay your smaller document on top of that. For smaller documents, it works better to place it toward the right side of the scan field rather than in the center of the blank page. Two photos located above right show correct document positioning for scanning with the A's plus. Now you're ready to scan and save documents and books. When the device boots up, it starts at the main menu and a voice announces, main menu, scan, and read. Remember, if you are using a different function on the device, you can return to the main menu at any time by pressing the home button, and you can then use the right roller to scroll up or down to the document management option. The image below shows the Ace Plus screen with document management menu item highlighted. If you want to save an item to the device, to a USB flash drive, plug in the USB flash drive before scrolling to document management. Once you hear document management, press the action button to select the document management option. The word management is announced and displayed. Please note, after you have saved books or documents to the ACE Plus, a list of the material you have saved will be available below the management option and you will be able to scroll to and select the item you wish to open and read with the device. Likewise, if you have plugged in a USB flash drive that has TXT or PDF files you would like to open, these will appear below management. We'll come back to this. For now, let's start by selecting management with the action button. Scanning and saving documents and books continued. Upon selecting the management option, you will be brought to a screen with these four options, save, delete, convert, send via email. Images below show the Ace Plus screen with the save and save with voice label options highlighted respectively. Let's select save. You will then be brought to a screen with these three options, save with voice label, save without voice label, save book. Scanning and saving documents and books continued. The save with voice label option is for saving single page documents onto the device that will have a label you record yourself and will be announced when you scan through save documents to open. The save without voice label option is for saving single page documents that will be saved with a file name that reflects the first line of whatever you are scanning. The save book option is for saving multi-page documents or books. When using this option you will always be prompted to record a voice label. Scanning and saving documents and books continued. Let's run through the process for each of the three document management saving options. First, select save with voice label with the action button. You will be prompted to press action button to record. After pressing the action button and speaking your label, press the action button again. You will be prompted to confirm save. Press the action button to confirm. You will then be prompted to press scan button to add a page. Align the material you want to read as previously instructed, and then press the scan button. A few seconds later, an announcement will state, the page has been saved. Press the home button, to return to the main menu. Photo above shows a hand of someone pressing the scan button on the Ace Plus with enlarged words showing on the screen from the document right, after it has been scanned. Scanning and saving documents and books, continued. Next, let's run through save without voice label. From the main menu, select document management, and then select management. Next select save, and then scroll to and select save without voice label. You will then be prompted to press scan button to add a page. Proceed as instructed for saving with a voice label. Press the home button, to return to the main menu. Photo above shows a hand of someone pressing the scan button on the Ace Plus with enlarged words showing on the screen from the document right after it has been scanned. Scanning and saving documents and books continued. Now, let's run through the save book option. From the main menu, select document management and then select management. Next select save and then scroll to and select save book. 
you will then be prompted to press action button to record. After pressing the action button and speaking your label, press the action button again. You will be prompted to confirm save. Press the action button to confirm. You will then be prompted to press scan button to add a page. Align the material you want to read as previously instructed, or place an open book as flat as possible in the scanning area, and then press the scan button. A few seconds later, an announcement will state, the page has been saved, and then you will be prompted again, to press scan button to add a page, press action button when finished, continue to turn pages and scan them, pressing the action button, when you have scanned all the pages you want for the book, you will be brought back to the option to save book. Press the home button to return to the main menu. Photo above shows a book being properly positioned for scanning with the ACE+. Plus. The pre-scanned image of the book shows on the screen. Deleting documents or books saved on the ACE+. Plus. To delete items saved to the ACE+, Plus, select Document Management from the main menu, and then select Management. You will be brought to the screen with these four options, Save, Delete, Convert, Send via Email. Scroll to and select Delete. This will bring you to a screen with a list of all your saved documents and books. Scroll to the item you want to delete and select it. You will be prompted with the question, are you sure you want to delete this document? If you are sure, press the action button, and your item will be deleted. If you chose a selection in error, press the back button on top of the left roller. You will be brought back to your list of saved material to chose the correct one. The image above show the screen on the ACE Plus with an arrow pointing to the delete option. Press the home button to return to the main menu. Converting saved documents or books to text or MP3. To convert items saved to the ACE Plus or to a USB flash drive to text or MP3, select Document Management from the main menu and then select Management. You will be brought to the screen with these four options, Save, Delete, Convert, Send via Email. Scroll to and select Convert. This will bring you to a screen with a list of all your saved documents and books. If you have a USB flash drive plugged in, it will have the list of ones on the flash drive. Otherwise, it will have the list of items saved on the ACE+. Plus. Scroll to and select the item you would like to convert. If you are using a flash drive, you will be brought to a screen with the options, Convert to Text, followed by the option, to convert to MP3. Scroll to and select your preference. The device will announce it is converting. Do not touch any buttons on the device during the conversion process. The device will announce when the conversion is complete and will prompt you to press action button to delete the original and continue. Press back button to keep the original and continue. Either way you will be returned to the management menu and can proceed with whatever you would like to do next. If you are choosing to convert items saved on the ACE Plus, you will only be given the option to convert to text, not to MP3. Press the home button to return to the main menu. The image at top right shows the screen on the ACE Plus with an arrow pointing to the convert option. Sending saved documents or books via email. Please note, for information on setting up your email account and address book on your ACE Plus, refer to the tutorial, iPal ACE Plus features. To send items saved to the ACE Plus or to a USB flash drive via email, select Document Management from the main menu and then select Management. You will be brought to the screen with these four options, Save, Delete, Convert, Send via email scroll to and select send via email. This will bring you to a screen with a list of all the contacts in your ACE Plus address book. Scroll to and select the contact you want to send it to. You will be brought to a screen with these three options. Add voice attachment. Add images. Send email. If you want to send the chosen document or book without a voice attachment or an additional image, scroll to and select send email. The device will announce sending email. And then, once it has been sent, it will announce the email has been sent. For further information how to add voice attachments or add additional images, refer to the tutorial, iPal ACE Plus, Features. The image at top right shows the screen on the ACE Plus with an arrow pointing to the Send via Email option. Press the Home button to return to the main menu. 
How to read previously saved books and documents using the ACE Plus. Select Document Management from the main menu. This will bring you to the screen where you can scroll past the management menu items to the list of items you have saved. Select the title you want to open. The device will begin reading it. To navigate through text, the five daisy buttons and right roller are used for text navigation. Press the left or right arrow button to, respectively, move to the previous or next word. Press the up or down arrow buttons to, respectively, move to the previous or next paragraph. Press and hold the daisy center button while repeatedly pressing the right arrow button to spell out the next word. Press and hold the daisy center button while repeatedly pressing the left arrow button to spell out the previous word. Scroll up or down with the right roller to move, respectively, to the previous or next line. Press the up and down arrow buttons simultaneously to hear the orientation of the document. Press the left and right arrow buttons simultaneously to switch between column mode and table mode. The image above shows the screen on the ACE Plus with the management option highlighted and with the list of saved books showing beneath the option. Press the action button to pause or resume reading. Alternatively, you can set the center daisy button mode to pause slash resume in settings to use that. To learn how to adjust settings, refer to the tutorial, iPal Ace Plus, Settings. How to read previously saved books and documents using the Ace Plus, continued. If you have your settings set to text mode, the scan document is presented on the screen, but it will not be read aloud unless you press the action button. By default, the device is set to control font magnification with the left roller. If you have previously changed the settings in the settings menu for the left roller to control reading speed, you will need to switch this back if you want to use the left roller for font magnification. While reading a saved book, use the same method for navigating that was explained above. With these exceptions, press the down arrow to go to the next page. You will hear, for example, opening page 3 of 3. Press the up arrow to go to the previous page. You will hear, for example, opening page 2 of 3. If you want to stop reading and return to the document or book later, no problem. The device will remember the place where you left off and return to that spot the next time you open that same document or book. The photo above shows a woman relaxed in a comfortable chair reading with her Ace Plus. Questions? Call us at 855-354-4080 or send us an email at info at abic.com. ABC Incorporated 30 Sudbury Road, Unit 1B, Acton, Massachusetts 01720 www.abic.com. Happy reading. This concludes the document management presentation.